Hi students, we meet again for part 6 of the topic, plants. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm going to uh, teach again about uh, the structure in the flowering plants in flowers together with the functions because in my part part just now, um, the description and everything and everything are not so clear so I'm going to clear myself uh, about the functions and the part of the flower. Okay, so now let's start. Okay, uh, there are uh, there are many parts of the flower that everyone has to remember because this knowledge about the parts and the, of the flower and the function uh, are very important not only for uh, checkpoint, it is also for IGCSC. Okay, so it's it would be better if you guys uh, start memorizing it by now, so it will be easier later when you are in year ten. Okay. So, uh, for the first part, it is petals. So, the colorful part, petals. Mm, number two is the sepal. The no, no, part number three is petio. Number four is nectary. Okay, so nectary is the place where the nectar is being produced. It is uh, inside the uh, sepal, it's inside the petio. Okay, uh, then number five is the stamen. Stamen is the part uh, that made up the male reproductive system, which is made up of enter and filament and then number eight is carpal carpal is made up of the stigma style ovary and ovule okay so all together you have 11 uh, not including um, uh, uh, 11 including the carpal and the stigmas. okay uh, okay so now uh, let us um, let me uh, tell you about the function of uh, the part of the flower. Okay, so for, for the petal, like what I said in part uh, 5 earlier, it is uh, large and colourful and brightly coloured to attract insects and um, birds. The sepal, it is to protect the flower while it is in bud. So meaning that before the flower bloom, the sepal will protect the flower before it blooms. Okay, the petio, uh, or known as the stalk, it support the flower to make it easily seen by insects and to be able to withstand the wind. The nectary produce ne nectar, stamen, the male reproductive part made up of enter and filament. Enter contain pollen sac in which pollen grains are formed. Pollen contains the male sac cells. Okay, the filament with T support the enter. So this is the filament, this is the enter. The enter is the place where the pollen grain is found. Inside the pollen grain is where the male gamete is formed. Uh, the, uh, the, the, it is where the male gamete is. Okay, okay carpal, it is the female repro reproductive part of the flower. It is made up of stigma, style, ovary and ovule. Uh, stigma is the sticky part, the sticky surface of the ovary. So, uh, it is sticky as to catch the pollen that come from the, the same flower or that come from um, other flower. Okay, the star links the stigma to the ovary. Star links the stigma to the ovary through which the pollen tubes grow. Okay, about the pollen tubes, uh, about pollen tubes, uh, we will learn later uh, in the process of pollination. Okay, for style, um, okay. Uh, ovary contains ovule which develop into seed when fertilized. So meaning that um, for fruit, it must always come from flower. Uh, okay, fruits come from flower because why? Uh, later on, when we learn after uh, pollination and fertilization and the and the fruit formation, you will get to know that the ovary will be as the fruit, the flesh of the fruit. While the ovule will be the seeds, so that's why whenever you want to plant uh, a tree, you ha uh, you have to plant the seed because inside the seed, the seed is one from ovule, so inside that contains the female reproductive part. Okay, okay, so uh, that's all for part six. So your task for this week, I want everybody, all the eight students, to copy these notes in your exercise book. Okay. The drawing, labels, together with the functions. Okay, so only this for your task for this week. Okay, so I get, uh, I'll see everyone again for next week in another day, another lesson. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.